Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Fire Talk. We're here today after Mackenzie Gore's debut, which uh, I thought it was a really, you know, interesting, and I thought it was a really good debut. Um, he went out there, pitched. I got a stat line right here: five and a third, allowed two earned runs, three hits, three strikeouts, two walks, seventy-three pitches. Um, something interesting to note is that of those seventy-three pitches, I think around fifty of them were fastballs. So when he's able to get that that pitch mix going, I think it was just because his slider and his other pitches were missing. Not too much, but they weren't there exactly. So he had to pump a lot of fastballs. And it was surprising to see that, uh, you know, he was still generating a lot of outs. So when that pitch mix starts coming in, he'll start generating a lot more strikeouts. But Chase, what did you think of, of uh, Mackenzie Gore's debut? I thought it was pretty solid. I, he uh, Towards the end of his outing, the announcers mentioned that he was on like an 80 pitch pitch count. So I wanted him to finish the sixth inning because you know what? That would have been a great debut. You know, have a quality start your first time out would have been amazing. But um, he was on his pitch count. Other than that, he looked pretty solid. I would have liked to see him put more guys away. But like you said, his slider was a little off. He wasn't getting the whiffs off the plate. Um, and the, you know what? The umpire did have a really tight strike zone most of the game. It was that way for both sides. You know, there's a couple calls that I thought, you know, you probably could have gotten away with that for a called strike three, but he didn't get it. But for a first time out, he looked really solid. He limited his walks. He only gave up. There was like one mistake, I think. There was a couple, but only one that the Braves punished, and that was the Aussie Albius home run. And even then, he bounced back. He made some great plays off the mound, looking like a gold glove pitcher already there was a few that i was like wow he actually caught that that was pretty close that if that was me i probably would have gotten hit in the chest right there but i mean yeah he looks solid i want to see him use his other pitches a little bit more but can't complain for a first game that was really good yeah man it was really cool i uh i went to the game i was really excited to go see him pitch i missed the first strikeout but um that's the only part that i missed so everything else is really cool to see um the stadium was electric, really excited for him. He left a standing ovation. And um, I think everyone kind of have the same kind of has the same thoughts as us. Like it was a really good outing, you know, even though he didn't finish the the sixth inning, five and a thirds, plenty more than you can ask for. I honestly thought he was only going to go four, just because in the past I've seen, you know, Padres pitchers who debut taken out in the fourth or, you know, four and a third, something like that. So really good to see him go five and a third. Um, touch 98 a couple times. So that's very encouraging to see. He's his fastball has a lot of life to it. Um, you're right. The only mistake he really made was just that pitch to Albis. And it's funny because I was looking at it and I was like, it just kept going and going and going and going. Cause I was looking at it from uh from the left field standpoint and I was like, is that is that like that looked like a fly ball, but it just kept going and going. And uh, you know, the stadium went dead for a little bit until the Padres scored their two runs. Worth mentioning that in Mackenzie Gore's debut, the Padres struck out around 16 times. So that's obviously not good, but their defense did help out a lot. Manny made one and a half good plays. The other half is because Eric Hosmer didn't pick the ball. Hassan Kim was, you know, fantastic at shortstop. Um, you know, so a couple good plays by the Padres. Uh, Mackenzie Gore's debut, though, fantastic. Really excited for him in his future. I think he's got a – I mean, he. I don't think he should go down back to AAA. There's just no way. He looked too good. Maybe, you know, as teams start getting more film on him, more – um and they'll get more knowledge of him maybe it'll be a little rocky but right now everything looks good and when that pitch mix starts coming in his slider his change up and everything like that um you know it's going to be a lot better for him you'll start seeing those five six seven strikeout games so um chase what what else did you think mckenzie or how do you think i mean how do you think the Padres played last night i was kind of i was let down obviously because i wanted to leave with a w but i mean overall it was decent <sighs> You know, there was a few guys that had a really rough night at the plate. Cronenworth was definitely one of those. 2K looking, one strike, uh, one strikeout swing. Hosmer had a rough night. Grisham had a rough night. Profar had a rough night. It was like almost everyone had a rough night. We maybe had Machado and Abrams got hit and Kim brought him in on a, you know, punch it through the infield line drive. I mean... It, it was a struggle at the plate. It was it was bad. Um, but other than that, you know, I think Haseon Kim is starting to hold his ground. He did get into that high and inside pitch and, you know, punched it out of the infield. It's good to see. He's catching up on the velocity. 
honestly went to swing at that and I was like, oh, he's going to pop out or it's going to be a soft line drive. But hey, you got enough power behind it. Um, the bullpen kind of let us down. You know, we got an unusual outing from Pierce Johnson. You know, normally he puts guys away. He doesn't give up two runs in that situation. He doesn't give up those runs in that situation. Um, you know, and when you get the starter out of the game, you definitely have to take advantage of their bullpen because they don't really have a great bullpen. And you didn't. You let Kenley Jansen, who is known for blowing games against the Padres, close you out like that. Can't happen. Other than that, you know, defensively wise, everyone was pretty good. Was excited to see Abrams in right field. He made some couple routine plays. Machado was great, like you said. As soon as I saw that ball go into the ground, I'm like, Hosmer's not going to pick it, is he? And I see the ball come out, I'm like, oh. But there is one other thing I wanted to address with Mackenzie Gore that I kept forgetting to mention until right now. Can we talk about how efficient he was with his pitches? He nearly made it through six innings with less than 80 pitches. We just saw Darvish and the struggle bus that that was go through like three innings where he was already at 70 pitches. Charlie Morton yesterday was getting dragged. And, you know, Manaya Musgrove has been really good with their pitches. Nick Martinez has been pretty efficient, but we need Mackenzie Gore to be more like that. I mean, he always around the strike zone. He missed a couple times with the soft speed, but he was incredibly efficient and he looks like he can go the distance on a minimal pitch count, which we needed. I mean, if he had a 90 pitch count, he may, may or may not have gotten through the seventh inning if he didn't struggle after that. But I think that's important to know. Like we have a guy who's been around the zone is pretty efficient with his pitch mix and can go deeper into games. That is great for a fifth starter. If you have your fifth starter going six innings, two earned runs each time out, that is a gift. I mean, that is a great problem to have. Most teams don't have that problem. And if we have that, I'll more power to our rotation. Yeah, you mentioned his his efficiency. Like we said, only 73 pitches. A lot of them were fastballs, but he was generating, you know, a lot of a lot of ground outs, a lot of fly outs. So that was really good to see from him really pounding the strike zone uh, for most of most of his outing. Um, yeah, very encouraging. I mean, his quote, it felt good. This place is awesome. It was a lot of fun. He's he's a competitor, man. He wants to be out there. He wants to win. So it was very a very encouraging outing. I expect I, I kind of think. You know, we should expect better because that was a 73 pitch outing with mostly fastballs and he was facing a really, really good team. I think his next outing is going to be against the Reds. So let's see how he does in that outing. Obviously, the Reds are a little bit a little lowly right now. Um, So let's see how he does, how he does against them. I think that's going to be a, another another really good outing for him, hopefully. And I mean, maybe he faces Hunter Green. Wow. How fun would that be? I don't know. But um, yeah, I think that's gonna do it chase you got anything else to say about Mackenzie gore or or the team in general yeah uh when everyone come back where do you think gore is gonna go it's kind of obvious that he can't go back down do you piggyback him with snell and clev though bob melvin came out and said i can't find the exact quote right now but he said snell is a ways away from pitching in a major league game so uh we exactly what that means but it does mean that Mackenzie Gore is going to be on the team for the foreseeable future at this point but once he comes back what do the Padres do do they make a six-man rotation do they back or with someone or does someone find themselves the odd man out and goes to the bullpen depends on performance in my opinion I, I don't, honestly like I know Darvish got roughed up but if you know if he keeps getting roughed up I don't think anyone Everybody in this rotation is good enough to warrant a spot, and whoever's the odd man out is the odd man out and shouldn't be in the rotation. I mean, granted, Darvish is going to keep his spot, but that's kind of how I think the mentality should be. But um, before Snell comes back, it's kind of going to be a competition between uh, Gore and Martinez just because um, Mar Martinez, you know, he's relatively new. So is Mackenzie Gore. Mackenzie Gore is the highly touted prospect. So let's see how Nick Martinez does today. His starts today against the Braves. Um, so let's see how he does compared to how Mackenzie Gore does. Um, but when Snell comes back, we kind of talked about it. I like the piggyback just because Mike Clevenger needs to get ramped up for the latter half of the season. So let's say you go, let's say you go righty lefty. You go from Mike Clevenger to Blake Snell. 
you get a, each of them. Let's say you get, I don't know, three or four out of Clevenger and you can get the rest out of Gore. I don't know. And I think that works out relatively well because you need – they both need their innings. You can't send them back down. If you send Gore back down, it's just – it's horrible because he's already proved that he can hang up here. He's done too much in AAA to warrant being sent down. He did too much in spring training to warrant being sent down. So it's like he's way ahead of the competition down there. You need to get him settled down in the MLB so he can level up to the competition up here. Um, with uh, Nick Martinez, his stuff played great. Um, he looked fantastic against the Giants. Hopefully, he can he can uh, you know keep it going because I I thought he looked really good and I was really low on him to be honest. I didn't know what to expect from him, but he looked good in his first outing. I expect with his stuff, I expect him to be a relatively good pitcher. And if you go with the piggyback from the lefty Blake Snell to the righty Nick Martinez, I think that plays great as well. You save your bullpen, who quite frankly, up until August tenth last year, was the best bullpen in the MLB. But they also were on pace to throw the most innings for a bullpen in the MLB it, ever. So, um, you know, that that's kind of going to be important to be able to save your bullpen, get your guys who need innings, those innings. Um, and then, you know, you got Darvish to hopefully he bounces back from this outing. I fully expect him to bounce back. I think he's going to be, you know, maybe not the Darvish of old, but around a 3-5, three, 3-8 three, ERA guy. Um, hopefully he comes out to that. Musgrove is going to keep doing his thing. Manaya is going to keep doing his thing. We'll get a couple rough outings out of Manaya. That's what happened with the A's. But more often than not, you'll get some good outings out of Manaya. So when it comes down to it, it should be Darvish, Manaya, Musgrove, um, Clevenger, Gore, Snell, Martinez. That's what I think. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you 100%. You know, uh, Hopefully Nick Martinez is good today. Um, you know, I think he faced a little bit better of a lineup in the Giants, especially since Acuna is still out. Um, hopefully he learned from his last outing. You know, he needs to throw his off speed a little bit more. When he started to locate his off speed more, he was getting the whiffs. They weren't hitting his fastball as hard. Everything just played better. Hopefully he comes around and, you know, he starts just from the gun, you know, putting people away, getting soft contact, not getting – uh, his fastball hit as hard as it was against the Giants because that will lead to runs. We've seen it, the Padres and Padres pitchers. It Sometimes they go down a uh, – start tumbling down the hill and they just can't stop. But, hey, I've got complete faith in this rotation. It's a great problem to have. I completely expect Gore to stay up. I think he's kind of forced his spot on the rota – uh, yeah, spot on the rotation at this point. And same thing with Abrams, you know. Having both rookies up there and having them perform at a high level, it's really healthy for the team. It has a lot of competition to do with it, especially, you know, a lot of soul into it. I mean, we saw the uh, single with Haseon Kim. The stadium was electric. He loves when Haseon Kim does good. The team does good when Kim does good. So, yeah, just having all of them guys up there, it's always good. It was definitely really fun when Haseon Kim brought in that run. Super fun. And then when he scored, it was even more fun. So, um, but with all that being said, hopefully we see Mackenzie Gore here for the foreseeable future. Hopefully all these rookies are here for the foreseeable future, because quite frankly, I think they make this team better for sure. Um, this rotation should pan out to be one of the top five, top 10 rotations in baseball. Uh, but the question becomes, who's going to be the odd man out when Clevenger's fully ramped up, when Snell's fully ramped up? Because quite frankly, I, I mean, if Gore keeps pitching at this pace, it's going to prove that it shouldn't be Gore and he should not go to the bullpen. And if you do a six man rotation, it's a little odd because it does help you Darvish in terms of his health. It will keep him healthier because he'll have that extra day to heal. But how will that affect the rest of the pitchers who like to pitch every fifth day? We don't know. So, you know, we'll see how this plays out in the foreseeable future and we'll talk to you guys soon.